So the first thing you want to do with your UV spectrometer is you want to make sure it's plugged in. And then you're going to go to the back of the machine and flip this uh, switch on button. As you can see, the screen has turned on and it will take a few minutes to warm up. This is what your screen should look like right now. After your spectrometer has warmed up, this is going to be the home screen and you're going to want to go to Spec 200E Modern Interface and just press enter. Um, this is where you can select the measurement of your wavelengths and it depends on what your uh, professor asks you. But for our example, we're going to set it to uh, 686. So you can use this knob over here to adjust the length uh, by bigger intervals, but if you want to get more specific, you can use the keypad. So I want to set mine to 686 and then press down and go to go. So this is your cuvette and you want to make sure that it is clean. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it down and take, uh, I'm using VI water, and you're going to fill up your solution all the way up to that line below the arrow. Okay. And what you're going to do next is you're going to take a Chemtech wipe and you're going to wipe all around the cuvette to make sure that you do not have any fingerprints or dirt of any kind. Okay? And what you're going to do next is you're going to go to your UV spectrometer and you're going to lift the lid and place your cuvette with the arrow pointing to the left. Then you're going to close the lid and as you can see it reads the absorbency rate at 0.07. And what you want to do is to press the 0, 0.00 button. This zeroes out the DI water so we can compare future solutions. Now that you have zeroed out your spectrometer, you're going to open the lid once more and you're going to take out your DI water. And then you're going to take the sample uh, cuvette that you have filled up to the line below the arrow and you're going to put it in and close the lid. And then now you're going to get your results.